Well, I've been sharpening most of the day. Hey, what are you Indians doing? Then I've been uh, testing these out. Earbuds by Sony. I'll show you the model in a while. It doesn't do you any good to show you because they don't work worth a damn. 30 some bucks. Wireless Bluetooth. Don't invest in them. Bad deal. But they'll probably work good on my computer and my phone. So I'll probably keep them for that reason only. All the rocks are gone, look. I need to do the rest of them today. Now let's get to let's get to this stuff right here. Okay. For well over 20 years, I've used nail pouches to carry all my treasure in. I bought a couple of these from the scoop maker guy in Florida. And I have one on every belt that I own. Inside I have a knife and a piece of rope that I carry with me. I don't know why, I just always do that. Seven or eight years ago, I bought some stuff from Anderson and he had pouches. So I bought two pouches from Anderson. Three holes in each one. This one I don't, I don't, this one stays under the seat of my truck with these, in case I forget one, which I do almost I don't know. I don't know. I, almost every time I forget to bring this one. This is my favorite one. But uh, they were starting to get raggedy and little teeny holes in them. So I figured I'd upgrade them. This one I upgraded with a nylon strap. Sewed on the top inside with a clip at this end. So I wouldn't have to mess with these damn strings anymore. These long strings, you know what I mean? So I went to the fabric store about a month ago and bought some fabric. Then I took them over to a Chinese tailor that I shot the scissors for and had him make me two, just like this, but they only have two compartments. They got the nylon strap sewed on the back, two nice buckles right here for taking them on and off. I have two now. What well, treasure? If I ever find any more. Okay, that's enough for that kind of stuff. Now let's get into these jackets that some people have been curious about. This one was the first jacket I ever purchased. And it's at least eight years old, maybe older. Got zippers over here. This is on the top of your right and left shoulder. I bought them from NRS. Some wild right uh, river rafting outfit. They're waterproof. Got Velcro at the bottom. They got a Velcro sleeves and a Velcro neck. Nice, nice thing. I used that for two years. Then a few years later, I upgraded to this. Same outfit, NRS. Everybody makes them for kayaks nowadays, I guess. Kayak dry top. This one has really tight rubber sleeves, like a wetsuit, like a dry suit would have. So no water can get up your sleeve. It's got an outer, outer liner and an inner liner. That's it. Same thing with the neck. With a rubber tight neck, no water can get down your neck unless you would get duck, ducked under water or something like that. This by far is the nicest thing I ever had for hunting in the wintertime. It's big. It's way too big now since I lost all that weight. But it's got a liner inside. And then it's got the outer liner. So you stay nice and dry, waterproof, and warm. Because you can put lots of stuff underneath of it to keep yourself from getting freezing. I can't find my wetsuit to show you how it works. Chris has hid it somewhere in the garage and I ain't got time to look for it. Anyway, I got a five, I had a full 
upper and lower five millimeter suit. Henderson, gold core, gold some damn thing. And I hated it, wearing it the whole thing. So I cut it off about just under my, uh, just above my chest a ways. And I took it over to the guru and I had him sew some suspenders on it so it don't slip down when I put it on. Well, it didn't because it was really tight then, but it does, it's too, it's too damn big now. I got to buy a new suit. But anyway, what I did is I put the suit on, put the stra straps on, and I put me uh, two or three shirts on, a hood, if I wanted it, and I slid that watertight jacket over the top, and I was good to go. I could go up to my chest if I wanted to. My arms stayed, I could dunk them under water, they stayed dry. I put gloves on. And gloves, we use gloves for, I don't know how many pair of gloves I've tried. We ended up buying them uh, boxer type gloves, you know, with three fingers. Well, actually with two fingers, a thumb and an index, and the rest is a muffin-like thing. They're the best things I ever found that works cold, keep your hands warm. They don't, they don't squeeze your fingers and cut the blood off. When you cut, squeeze your fingers and cut the circulation off, your fingers get cold. But the muffins, that doesn't have it. That's all I'm going to do tonight. I've been ranting enough. I'll see you tomorrow. If I can get up, maybe for a low tide spin. I haven't talked to the guys from New Jersey, I mean from Maryland or from Delaware, but I may get a report from them later. I'm not sure if the Mumbles man went today. Okay, that's it. We'll see you. Good luck to everybody.